Alright. So, today we're installing K2000 quarter video card inside of the machine. We don't install them prior to shipping because they are known to be damaged easily in shipping. So, the way you do this is you get your, get your machine, you lay it down, don't do it standing up because you're going to have to push, push it down a little bit on the board. So, you don't want to flex it and you want to have it fall. And use a screwdriver, regular Phillips, and just, you know, undo the thumb, thumb screws like so. And now, just lift up the blade like this and slide away. Now, here we have the slot. Slot is a pretty straightforward slot. As you can see, this is the slot. This is the PCI Express 16X. This is a slot into which you want to install, not into this one, but into this one. Um, as you can see, there is a clip that holds the video card. It will correspond to a notch inside the actual uh, card. The card is going to go in there like so, and it's going to close. Another thing that you have to match is the, is the indent right there. That indentation is where the metal tab from the front of the card is going to go. And basically, all you're doing it is just pushing it in, and it nicely sits. Now let me show you how it actually happens. Cut the card. This is all your adapters and drivers and such. Let me turn it up. And here's your card. Now, this is the metallic tab I was talking about that's going to go into the case. This is the plastic, well, silicone tab that's going to go into that location right here. All right. And all you're trying to do right now is trying to keep the wires out of the way. And one second. One thing we have to do before this is to take out the screw right here. This one as well. On this particular case, there is an actual clip. Depending on which kind of case we're doing this on, you might have to take off more or less of the side casing. This one, as you can see, there's a middle bracket right here that you have to undo the screws for. And now it just slides up. There it is. There it goes. Basically, just tabs on it. We do is pull it up. Oh. Now, also when I install, I like to undo the screw that's next to it, just in case, so it doesn't get in the way of the installation. This is where you put the, the card. This is the slot next to it. So now, let's go back inside the case. Basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to align the card like so. See how I have it floating right now? Basically, make sure that no wires are getting clipped, and we're trying to just lower it until it clicks in, like so. And also, here it will match the case, like so. And this is the time when you can put in your screw right here. Now, because life is an imperfect thing, it's not going to line perfectly. But all you're trying to do is trying to just ease it in. You don't have to go crazy on it. And there you go. Just putting back the screws. In the order that they came out, basically. Putting back the plate. screws into the plate now depending on what kind of video card you have you may have uh, accessory power on this one and this one does not have additional power but on some there are additional six uh, pin connectors let me see if I can Get you a sample. Here it is. 
basically this is a connector like this you see the four is either eight pin like this or six the extra two are usually either disconnectable or you know so that you can slide it on just so the you know just the six connect all right on this one on this card you don't have to do it so on this particular machine we're done you're just gonna go ahead and put the cover back on this particular cover has a lip so you want to line this lip with this right here like so and then just lower the cover down put in your final screws now depending on how much you want to open the computer you might want to use a screwdriver to tighten them up or just hand tighten to it it's up to you I like to use a screwdriver to just keep that extra peace of mind. All right, and that's it. Now you can plug in the monitor right here into one of those connectors. If you don't have a DVI monitor, you can use one of the adapters that comes in, come in the kit with uh, almost any video card that's DVI, that has DVI. Um, also, there's other adapters for you put uh, what's a display port and basically this is the slot that's located right there it's a small slot on this particular card um there's an adapter basically how it goes is this adapter from small to big and then from there to here and that's all that's all to, it's pretty, pretty easy pretty straightforward